All the mods 7 to the sky. A new sky block that is packed full of mods. I don't just want to exist up here in the sky. I want to be king of the sky. To do this, I need to make the ATM star. The holy grail of the ATM mod packs. Something I've never even come close to. And as if that wasn't hard enough, I'm racing this guy to it. We still haven't got a diamond. Be nice to get one before we jumped off, but... Oh! Ha ha! How's that for a moment? That's Jay Chow. He's a good bloke and a great friend. But I'm gonna put him under the dirt. Blocks. The dirt blocks. And if I wanna sit on a throne in the sky, fit for a king, I've gotta to get to work. Here's what my island in the sky looks like right now. It's not much, but let me tell you, we're gonna transform this into something great. We're gonna make an auto cobble generator. We're gonna expand my farms for more of a food source. I'm gonna be creating some power, and then with that power, hooking up an auto hammer and an auto sieve for a very cool automatic resource collection system. That's all coming up right now, and I'm also going to be sharing a few tidbits that I learned along the way with you, so stick around. As you can see, my sky block is coming along nicely. I've been able to make a fair few additions to the island, one of which being my amazing cobble generator. I've designed it so it creates eight pieces of cobble at a time, and what you can do is just ulti mine with a hammer, and that'll turn it into eight pieces of gravel. I've also learned that you can connect the sieves up in a five by five grid, making it a lot faster to process and get a lot more loot, which we have gotten quite a bit of. I've even got a couple diamonds and an emerald. Now, because we need so much iron, I'm gonna go ahead and make, with my two blocks of copper, a copper ore hammer. That will allow us to smash the raw iron into iron dust, doubling our output. We now have 50 iron dust, which will be very useful for us going forward and progressing in the mod pack. Now, after I, I blocked up my lava and threw out my water bucket, I ended up making the fired crucible, which turns cobble into lava. That's how we got another lava block for over there. But there's actually a way you can make a passive cobblestone generator. Six planks, a piece of glass, and a lava bucket and a water bucket will get you a cobble generator tier one. Now that we've made another bucket of lava, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, grab a bit of water, put it all together, and get my cobblestone generator. Now what I might do is actually upgrade it straight away, grab my buckets back, and once we get another bucket of lava, we can upgrade it straight away. While I wait for more lava, I'm going to upgrade to an iron furnace. That'll give us some quest progress. And this will obviously smelt faster as well. Okay, we got a bucket. Six cobble. Tier one in the middle. All right, we got tier two. Got my buckets back. We got tier two. Let's, uh, let's pop it down here. Now, this doesn't require power. You can put it a uh, an oak drawer right on top and look it's generating cobble for us now we have a passive passive generator we have an active one for some more sieving which I'll have to do because we need more diamonds and uh, a lot more iron I want to eventually upgrade all these um, that will take quite a lot but I think we can do it Okay, we upgrade the furnace. We've got the food and farming chapter done. All we need to do is get the starter power and then getting started part two and upgrade the meshes from diamond, emerald, and then eventually netherite. Now, there is one case where I don't know how to get soul sand. I know that you need ancient spores from sifting sand to make mycelium, put it under a crucible, no, put it under a barrel, Full of water it'll turn it into witch water which then can make soul sand but i don't know how to get ancient spores i don't know if that's in there yet so if anyone could help me um figure out how to do that down in the comments i'd really appreciate that because i really want to tick off this whole page all that's left to really do now is process some of the ores into ingots after smashing them with the ore hammer and then we got to upgrade all these sieves 
and then I can go after the flux sieve, which is automated, and then we can really get things going. So shout out to all the squids that spawn here and give me calamari. We've got an impromptu squid farm as well. Also, my other biggest concern is a food source. We need to get the farm revamped and going a little bit better than what we have right here. Because I'm only down to five stakes, and that's not going to last very much longer at all. It was at this point that I decided to build a platform underneath our base. This way we can build off this bottom layer in the future and also just quickly put up a farm here and get a more reliable food source going. I then decided to go to my cobble generator and farm a lot of resources. So after sitting for about five minutes at my cobble generator with about five stone hammers, I've got about 20 stacks of gravel. I'm going to show you the exact yield after I process it all. So this should be good. Okay, I process it all. In my last two stacks, I found two diamonds. There could be more because there could be some hiding amongst these. So let's have a look. I can see some more emeralds. This won't even fit in my inventory. No way. Any more diamonds? Yo, another diamond. Four, seven diamonds. Yo, this is so good. Seven emeralds, seven diamonds, and I mean, more than I can possibly hold. What a yield. So that's what 20 stacks will get you thereabouts. With my newfound wealth, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on with the quest and get a coal generator. Coal generator done, let's get that reward. Redstone, XP. And now, we have finished. Beautiful. All that's left is soul sand, diamond mesh, which we could actually get one of. What I'm going to do first to really get ahead of James is create the flux sieve and the flux hammer. There's the flux sieve, flux hammer. We got them. We got so much stuff now. Now all we need to do is figure out how to use it. Okay, I think I am close to figuring it out. I'm going to make a diamond mesh, which we can't do. You need flint mesh, then your iron mesh. Where's my iron? And then your diamond. So that's all our diamonds, but you need to put a mesh in your flux sieve, which is getting coal power from the coal generator is it working it is working machine is working okay and it should transfer it back down into the hammer which doesn't have power right now is it working we need a pipe wrench and energy pipes okay we need more redstone for that looks like we're not done after all okay i think i know what i was doing wrong we still need lots of redstone which we get from sieving dust but this is the sieve. You can't put cobblestone in here. That's not going to work. You've got to put this stuff in here. And I, I removed the um, the hammer because we don't have that yet. And it should be working. Oh, it is. And that's with the diamond mesh. So this will be the best chance to get redstone because it is using our diamond mesh. I'm sure it's a bit slower in the long run, but it's automated. We can obviously upgrade it. And there's some redstone already. I need quite a lot of that. I need about... 20. I only have like five or so. As soon as we get the redstone for the pipes, we can power our auto hammer. We can have the cobblestone generator um, outputting into that, into the hammer, the hammer inputting into the sieve, and the sieve outputting into the chest. And then we are set. We are way ahead of my friend Jay Chow. And he's not going to be able to catch us. And I am going to be king of the sky. For the meantime, we will go ahead and make two coal generators. Because, why not? That's going straight into there. So they're both powered with coal. Both auto, auto hammer. Yo, it's doing it. Automatically generating cobble into the hammer. Just powered by that. 
Sends it straight into the sieve. Straight into the chest. We are off to the races. So guys, that was the end of the second episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is our island so far. Have a look at that. It's looking mighty fine. We've made some good progress so far and I'm excited to get some more episodes out for you guys because next time I have a little twist. Next time, Jay Chow will be building on his Skyblock world right next to us. We'll be able to see him and it's gonna be amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And see you next time.